This episode of Designing Minds features co-founder of Tronic Studio, Vivian Rosenthal. In part one of this three-part series, Vivian reminisces on her earliest days of inspiration with the idea of spatial manipulation, an idea she evolved with her design partner, Jesse Seppi, in her adult life by creating innovative physical installations which interact with the digital world. I'm Vivian Rosenthal, and I'm on Designing Minds. I was actually fairly young, probably about nine, when I became really interested in design. And it was actually, I'm not necessarily design so much as space. I think I didn't really know what design was. I definitely didn't know what design was, but just an understanding of space. And it was reading Alice in Wonderland that triggered it. And I really liked the moment when she became large and the space became small and there was that awkwardness between the two. I got a bit obsessed with that and, I don't know, somehow really interesting to think about not fitting in a space or a space changing. I met Jesse Seppi, who's my partner in Tronic, the first day of school. <laughs> he was standing by himself by a column and I just felt compelled to go speak to him and it turned out we had a lot in common. We started talking about our understanding of space and how space basically could be used and how it could sort of elicit emotions. It was also really about the experience of space and that's in many ways what led us into animation and film work. We both really were taken by this idea that you could really extrapolate whatever was in your imagination. And you didn't have that same immediacy with architecture. We instantly came together in recognizing the potential in that. Basically, we created a digital human and we created a digital space that this person occupied. And then in a physical gallery, we rebuilt the space with the exact same aspect ratio and proportions of the digital one and projected this digital person into the physical space. What occurred was basically this seamless overlap where when you were standing in the space, you perceived the person to really be in there behind a scrim, moving about. You couldn't distinguish between where the digital one started and where the physical one ended. In fact, you didn't actually even know there were two, or you questioned that reality. He asked us to do an installation for Diesel, which was basically a hybrid retail and art gallery. We did this show called The Retail Experiment, which was really examining how shopping shapes our identity and how, you know, through shopping, we're either looking to construct a new identity or maintain an existing one. So we created a capture device that took your image when you walked into the store and fed it into this particle system. And then based on the luma values of your face, you were going through moments of abstraction and moments of clarity. So over the course of two months, there was thousands of shoppers that had gone through the space and they became part of the diesel experience. really see yourself and have this moment of recognition with yourself while you were shopping. So that was really like our first commercial project. And that commercial work paid for us to continue to explore both ideas and technologies in our personal work. 
And then that in turn fed the work for clients. Log on next week when Vivian pushes her spatial projects even further with the help of some of the world's largest corporations.